Good morning, it's the 8th of April, I'm Joe Neighbour and today I'll be running through some charts for you on the FX markets just to give you a little bit of an update on what I'm seeing at the moment and where I feel there are some opportunities in the short to medium term to try and make a few pips. So first up, I've got the daily chart on the dollar index. This is often the starting point for my analysis when it comes to FX markets. And first up, we have the daily chart. And as you can see here, we have a fairly large wedge pattern that has been drawn on, starting with this blue line uh, and also this green line down here. And what we noticed back in February was a breakout of this wedge pattern following a prolonged period of weakness for the dollar index. And in the short term, what we're now seeing is a corrective move to the upside. Now, we have uh, seen dollar become uh, a bit stronger in recent weeks and as a result we've seen some of the riskier currency assets like Aussie dollar and New Zealand dollar uh, find a bit of weakness simultaneously. If we take a, a deeper look into where we're at with dollar index on a shorter term time frame since the break of this wedge and the retest of the wedge following here uh, with a nice bullish hammer pattern uh, we've seen a continuation higher to the upside. Uh, we saw a bit of consolidation here potentially a bit of a flag formation uh, and then followed that up with more strength over the short term. In the last few days or so we have seen a bit of a correction lower that seems to have found some support at the 92.16 level uh, and again we've seen some, bull uh, some buying or buyers return to the market at around about this level. So for me in the short term, I think there is potential for a continuation higher. And my first point of call on this is this 38.2% Fibonacci level at 94.47. And why is that relevant? Well, if we go back to where this downtrend really started back in March last year uh, and project, we'll take the high there down to the low that we saw on the 6th of January, then the 38.2% uh, retracement level is there at 94.48. So a natural level to target uh, on a correction higher. So for me, that's where I think we could get to in the short term on the dollar index. And therefore that uh, I'm using to form the basis of my analysis on other markets, to give me an idea of where to be looking uh, to trade in the short term. So let's have a look at Aussie dollar. So this is uh, quite an interesting chart for me. Uh, again, it's a daily chart. And what we have here is a bullish channel in yellow. And as you can see, that broke down on the 4th of March this year um, before then correcting lower down to 76.15. We then saw um, a move higher to retest the underside of this channel which was here on the 18th of March, uh, and that failed and attracted fresh selling interest. And from that point, we continue to move lower. A very big, impulsive, bearish candle here was posted on the 23rd of March and also completed a head and shoulders top pattern. So here we have the left shoulder, then we have the head, then we have this right shoulder here, followed by a break of the neckline on the 23rd of March. Now, since the break of that neckline has taken place, price action has been very contained. It's been quite choppy, but it still remains below this neckline here. You can see on this dotted line. And on one, two, three, four occasions, we've attempted to get back above that neckline and so far failed. Yesterday, we saw quite uh, a lot of selling. Uh, potentially a bit of an outside candle there where we tried to make a new high but actually closed at lows below the low of the uh, the previous day. We've seen a little bit of buying pressure this morning. For me, that's just another opportunity to sell this in the grand scheme of things. With this head and shoulders top pattern, I'm looking to project to move lower down to this level here, which is at 72.35. So for me, uh, the risk reward is pretty good from here to target and move down. We've got a, a decent amount of resistance here that's formed at this neckline. We've got a little bit of resistance here that's formed at 76.95. So we can place a stop loss just above the 7700 level. And we can target a move down to this measured move target here of 72.35. So by selling today, or selling around about current levels at 72, sorry, 76.28, then we can look to target a return of 4.6R on this uh, trade setup today. So we're, for every $1 that we risk, we're looking to make $4.6 in return. So for me, that's a really good uh, risk reward setup today on Aussie US dollar. Uh, and that's where I'm putting uh, my uh, my dollars today. So good luck if you're trading yourself. Hopefully that was insightful. I'll be back very soon uh, with some more FX roundups for you all. Take care. Goodbye.